Actually, when did you guys start watching my videos? I'm actually very curious to know. popping in I have a few things to say first off we are doing a giveaway I'm giving away a Kindle Paperwhite you guys know I use my Kindle 24 7 it is my most used thing of this entire year so I thought it would be fitting so this giveaway is for my subscribers we have three rules or three steps follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok and then comment below your favorite part of the vlogs what you like seeing in my vlogs I'll announce the winner on Instagram in one week so put your handle like also in your comment the second thing is that red winning merch as you guys can see right here you'll see it in the vlog a ton so cute it's 10 percent off until the 20th and then our old like beige sets are 20 percent off so if you guys have ever wanted to shop the merch and now is the time we rarely have sales so I'm telling you guys you're gonna want to get it all right let's get started with the vlog Good morning guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. It is 6.45, I'm on my way to go work out at Jess's. I have not been on my workout routine at all lately, which is fine, obviously the holidays are crazy and I just really wanna enjoy myself, but I just have been so tired and I've had no energy, so I wanna make sure I'm getting some movement in. I also just kind of am craving working out and I miss it. I've lost like all muscle, m muscle in my legs, I'm pretty sure, which just makes me feel very weak, but I've also felt very sluggish, so I realized, you know what? Maybe I should work out. I'm normally really active, but I just this year has been like on and off. I'm gonna go back to Pilates. I'm getting a membership very soon. Um, but I'm just gonna go to Jess's and we're gonna do 12 through 30 together. Like something super simple. It doesn't have to be this like crazy, crazy workout routine. I really like 12 through 30 because it takes 30 minutes and you go in and out and you know what you're doing. I'm gonna go do that. I'm wearing like a bright pink workout set. I mean, it's really a lot, honestly. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Good morning, guys. I'm at Jess's. She made me a cute little espresso shot. I'm getting there. Feels like college again. I Jess know. would literally show up to college <laughs> and bring me coffee, which is so nice of her. But not just coffee, coffee in a mug. She lived like walking distance and would literally, she would show up with this, but like she makes sure really you get coffee so it would be like the whole, you know, class. So. That was my special thing. No to go mugs though. No. She's against to go mugs. I just feel like mugs like just have the vibes different. <laughs> they do. I think that our college really enjoyed that too. I also always feel by myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I saw myself regardless. That wasn't just the thing. Okay, thank you. I will. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, Fitz. You're gonna eat cocoa. Oh, yep. Uh -huh. Fitz, sit. Good boy. You are so smart. You are so smart. the best day of my whole entire life sweet green <gasps> and let them toss it for you oh my god thank you that's just the best all right i just dropped the dogs off at their grandfather's house um my dad is watching them tonight because i'm going to stay in a home alone themed airbnb when it comes to christmas you would actually think that i'm five i'm having friends over tonight okay but like it's me staying at the airbnb also i obviously needed it for video purposes anyways we are off it's in the city so it's like not far at all it's actually kind of embarrassing that i'm even sleeping there i paid a pretty penny for this place so i will be sleeping there we're gonna make some like tiktoks and stuff too but i'm really excited to see this place guys oh my god oh my god it is insane 
Guys, this, it has the Home Alone music playing. Oh my God. My friends and I are absolutely gonna die. Oh. It looks like legit, it looks like a real person. No, no, exactly. Oh my God. I mean, it's just, oh my God, this, oh, the cars, everything about this. There's cookies out. It's so cute, the beanie. That's so good. Oh my God, stop. That is so cute. We are definitely gonna get a few photos. Oh my gosh. The, okay, the paint, there's a ping pong table. There's lots of spots. Oh my God, even, like, okay, first off. Oh yeah, dad, they're in Chicago because they're huge Bulls fans. Like Chicago Bulls everywhere. Didn't think about that. I mean, this is just so good. Like, oh my God. Wow. They killed this. This is absolutely insane. Oh my God, okay, he said there's a new surprise out back. So, like even just having this stuff up here, that is so cute. What'd you say? Oh, perfect. Oh my God. Look at these. Okay, the ping pong table. They said there's a new piece. Oh my God, wait, this is actually insane. Like, oh my God. Like, this is insane. Oh my God. I don't even like know. It's just unreal. Like, the <laughs> guys, I didn't even notice this at first, but it's Buzz McAllister on all of the trophies, which is so funny. The spider, who remembers? I mean, all the players, like, it's just, I mean, they literally thought of everything. I mean, it's just, it's too good. It is truly too good. Talk about doing like a Christmas thing. I'm like, next year, I've gotta have a girl's Christmas weekend here. I mean, oh my God, it's absolutely perfect. I can't get over it. We also, they have like VHS tapes. Hopefully that still works. <laughs> um, or else we're kind of screwed, but it's just like perfect. Oh, well. You know when you're like definitely doing something on your laptop and then you forget and you close it and then you're like, <laughs> just kidding. That was me like literally just now. I want to finish this and then just like relax and have fun for the night. I'm definitely just getting really antsy. It is almost 5 p.m. I honestly already want to order pizza, but I'm going to wait until later. The sun is going down. I'm going to put on my pajamas, get cozy, and honestly watch Home Alone. I actually... Oh my god. It's actually just perfect. I'll never, ever get over this, guys. I'm literally Kevin McAllister. Like, it is just me here. Look at the beanie. I'm not going to put it on, but... I mean, you get the picture. I am Kevin McAllister. Except for I'm 24, and I willingly spend $500 on a one night on an Airbnb in the city that I live in and own a house in and have a mortgage in um, to just be in a house that's home loan themed. So I don't know if Kevin McAllister would do that, but I did. Guess where I'm going this weekend? The Polar Express, okay? I'm 24, I am. I have other friends going as well. I mean, guys, it honestly feels like I'm in a fever dream right now. It is so crazy. Like, guys, insane. I am truly living my best life. I've had the first Home Alone on. I just ordered my next book. What am I reading? I am the worst about remembering book titles. Like, I can read a book in my favorite book and I always forget the name. Always in December. One of you guys just recommended it to me in the Geneva book app, which we're bringing book club back, by the way. If you guys want to join, join the Geneva app. We're talking about books in here and then we'll do like a clubhouse thing. So it's all audio. Always in December. 
I ordered it. It looked really good. It had great reviews. I just ordered pizza and wings and one of my best friends, Taryn, is on her way. We're just gonna have such a cozy night. I'm honestly already excited for January and not that I need to wait until January, but just eating really clean and just healthy. Cause like right now, this is what I'm eating. That's fine. But I'm also craving vegetables now. I know I'm in a weird place when I'm craving vegetables. Yeah, so anyways, it is almost seven. Just gonna probably watch the second Home Alone with Taryn, eat dinner, then read my book and hang out and then have a little slow morning. I don't have the dogs here, obviously. They're at my dad's house, so I can sleep in. I don't have to take any dogs out or anything like that. I don't have anything until later, obviously. This is embarrassing. I hate to admit it. I have no idea how to use this. Like, when did we stop using, like, VHS tapes? Remember when, like, Blu-ray came out? That was such a thing. Like, these were a thing in my lifetime. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. It's, like, honestly, even... Like a normal coffee pot, I don't know how to use. And that's a lot more on me than it is just anyone else's fault. It's really just a me thing. I just got on the first try. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I mean, come on, the shoe fits. They literally left a 20 in the Blockbuster video case. I've been Good morning guys it is now the next day obviously last night in all honesty i was getting so anxious and i just kept looking at my calendar for december and honestly january and i am just so busy even to the point where like like plans like it's like back to back to back like social life which is a good problem to have but obviously like this is like such a busy time of year for like work stuff at least for me just everything and i was so anxious and I knew the answer was to just get off my phone and like read and journal or do something, but I just couldn't stop staring at my phone and that did not help me, but I did kind of read. I went to bed. It is so cold in this house. I actually should turn the heat on. My oh, Molly just texted me actually. My dad is about to come over to see the house and he's going to bring us La La Land. I'm not a huge La La Land girl these days. But um, it's just like pretty easy to pick up, so he's getting it. If you're in Dallas, go to Tribal. That is the best coffee shop ever, and they're so nice there. Anyways, I'm here for the next like two or three hours. I might put a home alone on again and just kind of relax. Today, I'm actually working from home. Surprise, surprise. So I need to go get... Oh my gosh, my phone couldn't be more obnoxious. Um, today, I'm working from home. I'm going to edit and then do a lot of podcast outreach for my LA and Nashville trip. So if you guys have people you want me to have on the podcast, let me know. And then also, hello? Guys, don't worry, it was just my dad. I'm not getting kidnapped. You're gonna die. I FaceTimed Cody last night, yesterday. He actually thought it was cool. Since when does my little brother think anything I do is cool? Um, look, it's like Kevin's little, the photos and stuff, isn't it crazy? Yeah. My dad with his La La Land. I noticed that is in the breadwinning housewife hat. That's mm -hmm. super weird. No, it's not. Sorry about the Home Alone music in the background, but I got the Jet Fuel, which is a lar, no. It's cold brew with two shots of espresso and cinnamon and an oat milk. So I'm a little bit worried. All right, guys, I'm really sad to be leaving. We are off. This was crazy. So it's in Dallas. The Airbnb is booked for the rest of December, so you can't come this Christmas season. But definitely, like, add it to your list for next year. I think during the summer, I'm pretty sure they do, like, a Saved by the Bell thing. I mean, it's really cool. It's Laura Greenville. Like, this was, like, one of the coolest things ever. My dad was dying over this. It was a nice little staycation. But yeah, anyways, I need to go pick up the dogs and then head home, get to work. Busy girl, okay? Also question, would you guys be into like home reno vlogs if I like go through an entire property, like if we get a house and we renovate the whole thing, would you guys be into that? It wouldn't be like the house that I'm living in, but like a future house, you know? I'm currently doing a ton of podcast outreach. I have my coffee. I've barely been able to drink it because it's just so insane. Fitz is wiped out. He just plays really hard for five minutes and then naps forever. But like, look at him. He looks like a human watching Danielle's Vlogmas, getting some stuff done. 
Taking a nice lunch break. I have been emailing and editing all morning. I ordered McAllister's, I got the Reuben. Sometimes I'll just get the club sandwich. Also, I live for applesauce. Like, oh my God. Sweet tea, I'm afraid of that coffee. I just put Tara's Vlogmas on. She makes me want to be a better vlogger. I do not think there's anyone who's better than her vlogging, really. It is much later. We're about to head out to Highland Park Village. I'm actually going to stop by the something Navy shop. And then Jess and I are going to have a little meeting. I think probably Starbucks. But I have my breadwinning housewife set. I mean, have you ever seen anything so perfect? Available below. We also have a tote and a trucker. Converse, this vest from Zara. I'm going to wear... This little Santiago bag that's been coming in handy lately. Grabbing my laptop and then heading out now. Sorry, it's slanted. There's not really a good way to go about this. There are too many people in this area. Let's get out like I'm on the phone. Okay, I made it to Highland Park Village. I'm waiting for Jess to get here, so I thought we could have a chat. Are you guys the friend that is like always early? I have never been late to anything. Like, I hate being late. I can't do it. I'm not even like offended if other people are late, but there's something about it. Gives me just like the worst anxiety. Anyways, I was just thinking how, I guess in the past few days, just because I've been a little more anxious since like everyone's doing Vlogmas, and like, quote, this month is just really busy and whatever. I'm like overwhelmed in like many aspects of my life, not just one. I get like really hard on myself because like YouTube obviously comes in ebbs and flows. Like there are days, there are times where my views are really good and there are times where my views are very down and they've been down lately, which is fine. And I think at the end of the day, what I've noticed is that I am not like a YouTuber who has like a YouTube -y audience. I can get really in my head and I have like people in my ear who are like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, or like, I'm around this person. Like, and maybe they just like care more about, you know, growing their YouTube channel in a way that is just like not authentic to me. And then they kind of like project that onto me as if like that's what I want. Like, I, I love YouTube, I love the platform, I love that, but I like like lifestyle vlogs. I'm not into the like overly produced, kind of like cringy-ish like stuff. Like, at the end of the day, that's just not me. And so then I will start listening to those people and it's like, oh my God, I'm not doing enough or I need to be more like that or I need to do stuff that like just doesn't align with who I am at all and like what I ultimately want from life. Like I, there's so many things I want to do. Um, and ultimately like what matters is obviously like building an audience that I really connect with and that is a community. It doesn't really matter the size of it as much as it matters like when people are engaged like I get so much fulfillment when I am making stuff that I love that feels like so me like even with like the texts and the breadwinning housewife videos and the vlogs like that stuff lately makes me feel so fulfilled and honestly at the end of the day like my favorite part of YouTube is the comments like when you guys comment back like it literally doesn't matter what it is it could be like anything I just love that and so maybe I've just been down on myself because like people haven't like comments have been down converse this is like none of you care about this but I think like you guys can relate at the end of the day when it, you know the quote that's like don't take advice from someone you wouldn't want to be more like and I think about that career wise too it's like okay but I also don't really want to do that like at the end of the day I don't want to be that person in five years and that's a channel that I've built and that that can apply to like literally anything in life especially career stuff and I would much rather have the audience in the community that I am building that is authentic to me than building something where I honestly just am uncomfortable and like I would never in a million years watch those videos or like think it was cool not that it isn't cool it's just like to me I'm not interested you know what I mean so like yeah I'm like I probably should do that for views or I probably should you know whatever for whatever it is business wise but I just like cannot bring myself to do it and it's not that I don't work hard it's that that just does not line up with anything that I want my dad is facetiming me right now He's buying my mom a present. Hello? Hey, you're on. Yep. Face off with everybody. Okay. If I see that black purse. Yeah. Yeah, that's not very Beth, though. My dad is shopping for my stepmom for her birthday. Anyways, I don't know. I've just been thinking about that a lot lately and like what I actually want to build. And it's crazy because some days I feel on top of the world and so proud of myself. I'm like, I've accomplished so much and I've built so much and done what I wanted to do. And then other days, like recently, I'm like, oh my God, I have no one watches me. No one cares about my channel. No one listens to my podcast. No one cares at all. Even though that's actually not the truth, but that is what it feels like sometimes. So 
Let me know if any of you guys resonate with that. If you need friends, join the Geneva app. I'm not kidding. I talk about it all the time. We are in there all the time. Anyways, I think Jess should be here soon. I'm gonna track her. How exciting, guys, is something maybe pop up is on the corner. Oh, look who it is. Cute outfit. All right, Jess and I are sitting down for very, very important meetings. <laughs> Unfortunately, about money. It's not that fun. Yeah. Alright guys, we're at Jess's. Um, I'm back here at my vlog spot at her house. We're actually recording for Jess's podcast about um, we're doing unpopular hot takes. opinions. Hot takes, yes. Um, also, I really kept it as no surprise. We've talked about this off and on that we're starting a brand. Um, so here is the thing. It's a clothing brand. We want you to join. It's in my Geneva room. I swear to God, all I talk about in these apps and on Instagram is Geneva. If you guys don't know, it's like a community building app. So there's like one home. It's a Kenzie Elizabeth home. There's different rooms. So there's rooms for like Dallas, a bunch of cities that I've added so you guys can be friends and hang out in your cities. Um, books, which is where we're going to do the book club, uh, product recs, things like that. But there's also a room for the Okine and that's where we're going to put like, what do you guys like about this? Up until we start using the Instagram more, I mean, I'm sure we'll use both, but you can go on there and we just wanted like to see what you guys want and also like sizing and things like that just random stuff that we can basically it's like a big group chat and we'll be texting you guys like we would text each other basically but we just need feedback so go and join i'll have it linked below we just did our first thing asking a question you can't even see that um you know what? i'm gonna order for myself once we finish this when i go home thai food that sounds really good oh my god that does sound so good i need to self tan tonight i need to set up this new uh, laptop a lot of things to do Bye, girly. My favorite podcast host. Listen, like, hello. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, hair fell. I'm home now from the podcast recording. It was great. We had a, such a good, productive afternoon. Um, I just got home. I just ordered some Thai food. It's 8 p.m. I have some stuff to get done tonight. Um, and I'm going to a Hot Pilates class in the morning at Shine, which I'm really excited for. It's the most similar to my Hot Pilates class in LA. So I'm going. Um, they also have a code. You guys get a free class if you use the code join Kenzie, which is like crazy, like a completely free class. They're normally like 30 bucks normally, I think. Um, but that's not really a good deal. Like no workout places have that. Fitz has chewed up. I am not exaggerating, guys. Probably like 15 remotes out of nowhere. He's never chewed anything in his entire life, ever. Like not a shoe, not any, like nothing. Well, he did chew like my baseboard randomly a few months ago, which is like very out of character. He just slowly walked upstairs with his head down, by the way. Um, and that was the first thing he chewed up, and it was really weird because even when he was like puppy puppy, he never did that. And he has everything, like, he has bones, he has so many toys, and for whatever reason, he chooses to chew up my remotes. I have to order another one. One of my remotes is like 50 bucks a remote. So I don't even want to talk about the amount of money he has lost me. This one's only 10, thank God. But still, like, I was gonna watch like YouTube on my TV tonight, and I can't do that. Like, what is this dog thinking? He's so selfish. I have some boxes to unbox. Like, I'm so mad. And I just got my floors cleaned yesterday. And now I have all this random battery stuff. Oh, God. Like, do you guys know how much I do for this dog? Here we go. I think I just took him out. She's gonna run around for like 30 minutes. I just took him, I got home. Immediately took him out to go run the yard, you know? Played with him, had no idea what I was gonna walk into. I absolutely cannot wait for my Thai food, but anyways, we're gonna do an unboxing. Okay, it's from Baked by Melissa. They sent me over the little mini cupcakes. These are the best things. Wow, also a really good gift, especially for anyone. It can be someone really close to you, or even if you, like, you don't know them well. Kenzie, excited to share our new holiday cupcakes with you. Um, 
They're now offering 10% off of Melissa's picks at bakedbymelissa.com with code MelissaPicks10. Okay, these are like the best little cupcakes if you've ever had them. Like they're so good. So that's actually very exciting. One time I was going through a breakup and Brooke and Danielle sent me baked our Melissa goods. So sweet of them. Also so gals of the go of them. Loved that. So sweet. Oh, another Christmas present came in for a family member. By the way, if you're wondering if I ever finished my coffee this morning, no, I didn't. That stuff was crack. And like I've been eating that lately, but barely had any of it. And that's actually the only coffee I had today, I think. I had tea at Starbucks, but like that doesn't really count, right? My pad thai just came in. I'm listening to Chicks in the Office. I'm setting some stuff up. I am prepping for tomorrow. I'm gonna go shower, self tan, all that stuff. You guys have seen it. I'm just literally in the best mood ever. I love what I do for a living. Like, it's also so exciting. Um, okay. Also, we've just been getting like so much stuff, like, really done. Like, the reality of starting this brand is like really coming true. It's coming to fruition, if you will. Like the tags, we were on a call this week. We were in a meeting yesterday and like we saw the tags and it's just so crazy. We're getting our first sample in like a week, which is so exciting. Also, um, I have a meeting for Breadwinning Housewife merch for 2022 tomorrow, which is exciting. Thank you guys so much to everyone who's been purchasing it. It's still available. I will link it below. It is my favorite stuff ever. I mean, come on guys, let's look at this thing. Really? Like, come on. You're telling me you don't want this. Like, that makes no sense to me. Like, obviously you want it. Link below. I just came upstairs and Fitz is knocked out. He ran around for five minutes. Like, also the fact that he just puts himself to bed right in the middle of the bed. Happy Wednesday, guys. I just made my coffee. I walked outside with my coffee to take the dogs out. I was going to take them to the yard and then it was wet and then I was on a walk and I was wearing a different set. It's hit me and my coffee spilled all over myself. So anyways, I changed into this so much honestly, much better. This is from Year of Ours. I am obsessed with this set. This jacket is just Amazon and then my Uggs. Like they're actually a really big staple in my life. Honestly, these are kind of getting trashed and I'm like, should I, I really want the many minis. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to Hot Pilates. So exciting. If you watched my vlogs in college in LA and I would go literally every day, it was a highlight of my whole life. We're going, it's like the TikTok audio trend that like back in the day, me and you baby. Guys, I have been posting on TikTok like legitimately five times a day and some of them are kind of popping off. So I might be a TikTok celebrity pretty soon. Watch out. Just finished. I feel incredible. I'm going home. I have a handy there. My stepbrothers, they're waiting in case they get there while I'm gone. I need to film today, I have some meetings. My grandpa's in town, so I'm gonna drive to my mom's later today. I'm back from Pilates and I just made a little yogurt bowl. It's coconut yogurt. I have peanut butter, a lot of blueberries, and honey. This is like, takes two seconds to make, it's so good. I'm going to Texas. Up there, I'm like, it's like the most me thing ever. actually gonna buy aprons you know what I mean I think the kitchen towel like what I have in my kitchen right there hanging off like that I think would be cool and also I mean there's so many people requesting like travel mugs like to-go mugs just had oh just had a great meeting for 2022 merch planning and everything we want to do with Red Money Housewife. I am literally so excited about it. You guys will love it. Um, but I need to drive to my mom's, which is like a solid hour away now. They moved. So I need to finish getting ready. I'm going to try on these new shoes. I don't know how I feel about them. We're bringing out the Red Money Housewife tote today. I feel boring now wearing all black which is like so not my usual but honestly i can't be bothered and who cares you know this is cute we're going to dinner it's easy i'm wearing these shoes from princess potley oh my god do you know how long i've been looking for this thing found it also do you guys want phone cases like everybody has like phone cases i don't know and guys like what a look i haven't filled my tote yet but what a look Now the next day I just got 
got home from my parents' house. It is almost four. I ordered Thai food. I know. Surprise, surprise. It's just what I've been craving lately. Also, Sweet Green isn't on DoorDash yet, and that will change some things. We're about to do a Skims haul. Get excited. My grandparents are in town, so I was with them at my mom's house. I got my nails done today. I literally got the exact same thing that I had before. And I've just been working. We're doing so much for the Okine. I'm really excited, but I've been, like, not stop on my computer doing that stuff. And I just didn't really... I don't really vlog with my family that much. Like, maybe with my sister, but no one else. Anyways, I've been thinking a lot about 2022 and my YouTube channel because obviously life is just like getting busier, starting a brand, doing so many other things, whatever. And I'm like, I don't know, I kind of just want to stick to one thing. Like, what videos of mine are your favorite videos to watch? Is it just week in my life videos? Like, should I do one week in my life vlog a week and just keep it at one long vlog? Or should I do like two vlogs? What do you guys even want to see? What are things in my life you actually care about? I don't even think starting a brand is really interesting to watch on YouTube. So like, oh, stop. What do you want? I'm not really dating. I keep saying I'm going to. Like, I just don't know what to post. And I feel like my channel has just died and like no one cares. I honestly feel this way every vlogmas though. And I know it's not true. And I don't want They're so nice like that, aren't they? Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. What a good surprise. So, I don't know. Just trying to be transparent. Also, I feel like in everyone's like job, at some point you're like, what am I doing? That's kind of how I feel. But anyways, we're going to do a haul. I am so excited. Um, we have skims and these two coats that I got. My stylist, Brittany, found them for me. Style by Brittany on Instagram. She just posts all this like really great... Um, oh my god, I'm like out of breath. It's so embarrassing. I went to Pilates yesterday, you know. I have to say, after just going to one hot Pilates class, I felt so good yesterday. I have the next week booked, and I'm so excited. I'm going back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it was just like, what a good thing. I'm really glad to be back working out. I've been considering getting back into boxing, too, because I just missed that. This, oh, so these feel like interesting. Like, this is super thin. I'm interested to see like how I like this, because Skims is normally pretty opaque. And just like thick. I'm sure this is still somehow flattering. Like, skins could come out with like a toilet, and I would be like, yep, I need it. Like, I'm not kidding. I have never trusted a brand more. Like, that's what I want people to say about my brand is that. This is super cropped, but I pictured this with like sweats. I love this. Okay, I finally got some short sleeve bodysuits. This one's kind of pink. This quality is just insane, and it's super flattering. My sister actually was wearing um, one of these last night long sleeve bodysuits. It's just, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how I feel about those. And then I got another short sleeve tank top. So I got these in the Black Friday sale, or maybe, I don't remember, I don't think it was Black Friday. It was before Black Friday, took a while. That's another thing, guys, like, obviously things are gonna take a while with shipping right now, and that is okay. But I, mean, I got like two like rosy colors, which I don't normally wear these kinds of colors, but I think those are the only ones that were left. Oh, I got a, um, another Skims robe, and this is just the brown, like, come on. Come on, I needed that. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot my Buff City soap stuff in my car. Oh, and then I have this in white and I got it in black. It, I just thought it would be really great for winter. By the way, everyone, look at my cute bro winning housewife um, tote bag. 10% off until the 20th. Check it out below. It's the only sale we'll probably ever have on it. I have more set active. Uh, guys, what a large haul we're running into. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. Nice, we've got some leggings. I seriously need to go through, maybe I'll add that to my to-do list. I mean, I should. I need to go through my fitness drawer because it's way too much. My boobs do not fit in this, I wear them, but like I have to, it has to be like an at-home thing. Just a cute little easy, oh, cute. Long sleeve crop top. We actually decided, so this weekend we're going to the Polar Express, as I've already told you guys. And we decided that we're actually going to stay the night in the area before because it's two hours away from us. Yes, there is one in Grapevine, but like this is the one that's been around forever and this is the one that we booked. So I actually need to book an Airbnb at like a lakefront property tomorrow, which will be really so cozy. <gasps> oh, cute. A Save 5 sent me. It's my management. The Monogram Club. E5 Founders Cocktail Guide. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That is so cute. It's the founders, obviously, what I literally just said. You know, sometimes you're just like Kenzie. I get that. Oh my gosh, stop. These are so cute. 
<gasps> what a good gift. Oh my god, I'm gonna get these for all my friends next year. Like cute little like drink coaster things. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying over these. I mean, it's so me. Wow, thank you guys. My favorite managers ever. Like legitimately, I'm not just saying that because they just bought me a gift. I actually feel that way. <gasps> this is my brother's Christmas gift. Amazon. I got lint rollers for my couch. Guys, life just keeps getting more and more exciting. Like obviously I know you guys are like, oh my God, that's so exciting, you know? I am like unbelievably excited for this. The first jacket I got, this like pleather coat. I obviously needed this, and I probably needed it in brown as well. I mean, come on. I need to stop wearing my beige coat so much. It is everything, everything I've ever wanted in my life. Wow, wow, wow. In the best way possible, it reminds me of like a whole old like limited two coat. Like, oh my God. I mean, I'm obsessed. I am, I'm obsessed. I, I don't know what else to say. Wow, okay, so that is it for the haul. I'm gonna eat my Thai food. We're gonna find an Airbnb. I have dinner in like two and a half hours, so I have no time to do anything. Like, when am I gonna? Oh my God, my keys, by the way, under the camera this whole time, so love that. Once again, so cozy. Fitz has just been wearing himself out. Very playful these days. Fitzy, hello. Yeah, he has selective hearing. Me too. Me too, Fitz, I get that. Cute, love this for me. Guys, don't forget, don't forget. This is my favorite mug. Got it from Texas Treasures. If you know, you know, it's a hidden gem, okay? Just got some stuff done. I decided this is what I'm gonna wear for my 80 degrees in December look. This skirt is Princess Polly. This is also Princess Polly. The heels are Revolve. I actually recently got them. Really love them. If you guys have any good life hacks for keeping your skin looking really moisturized in the winter, like, let me know. We need some help here, you know? You know what sucks about being a girl? Besides many other things, going to the gas station. It's so much scarier than it needs to be. All right, I'm back from dinner. I just got home, I showered. I used the shower gel stuff, but I used it in the bathtub, and I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I also put on self-tanner. I'm back using the Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self-Tanning Cream. I kind of want to do this throughout the winter, so I just have like a solid tan. It's Savon Ayla's brand. I actually used it a lot in 2020, and I was like, obsessed with it. My mom still uses it to this day. She still uses that, the Kosas face oil that I was obsessed with forever, instead of like foundation, the Laneige lip mask, like just like the staples if you've been watching my videos forever. Question, when did you guys start watching my videos? I'm actually very curious to know. Someone on TikTok commented my high school boyfriend the other day, and I'm like, oh my god, there are still people who have watched me since I was 16, that's actually crazy. Went to Town Hearth, and honestly, my talk, I loved it. But I will say my toxic trait is that I would rather be at Chili's. And I will say, like, I was thinking about this. I feel like we, for whatever reason, feel like we have to like certain things. And like, I like going and getting dinner. I have no problem with it. But like, I am never going to be the reason that we go to a nice restaurant. I'm always down to go if someone like invites me. But I would always choose Chili's. Like if I'm choosing where I'm eating, it's going to be like the, like a very easy, like the rustic at the most. And then I was thinking like, it's so crazy how growing up, I think especially between like, 18 to 24 you probably estimate you just in general you feel like you have to like certain things it's like when i started to like country and like middle school high school people are like oh my god i like everything besides country and now like i listen to 95 percent of the country music that's like pretty much all i listen to but i was thinking about it i'm like at the end of the day i would pretty much always rather feel at home i'd rather be in texas my happiest feeling like the thing that i think about to calm myself down is like listen is being in Texas, driving with my windows down, listening to country music, hanging out with my friends that I've known forever, and like going to Chili's. Like that is ultimately what brings me happiness and the most joy. I don't need like really nice restaurants and stuff. Like I know my friend Peyton like lives for that and loves that. And I love that for her. It's just like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't want like getting ready. I don't know, it could be laziness. But it's not that I don't like nice restaurants. Like I definitely like them. I just, I love chilies at the end of the day. And I have to stay true to me and I have to share my truth. And my truth is that I love chilies, all right? 
Like when I lived in LA, I found a Chili's in Encino and I made everyone drive like 45 minutes, honestly, weekly to go to that Chili's. Like we would go pretty often. It is 9.07, I need to work for probably two more hours, go to bed, wake up and go to Pilates in the morning. I'm so excited that I'm getting back to Pilates. Just don't feel like myself and going back to Pilates makes me feel so neat. Pilates and Chili's, you know man? That is a very like LA thing about me is my hot Pilates classes. And the fact that I like crave green juice, that's like another weird thing. I don't know, honestly guys, I'm all over the board. If you think about it, even my friends, they're so different from each other. They, they literally couldn't be more different. A really toxic thing that's happened in 2020 is that we have started to surround, and I fell into this, start to surround ourselves with people who only think the exact same ways that we do. And that is so unhealthy and also like you're never gonna grow and really boring. So I would challenge you, if all your friends think the exact same way as you, get some new friends. He puts himself to bed every night so early. Oh, wow. Good morning guys, hats are officially on sale, I mean they've been on sale. For you guys, I guess watching this vlog anyways, all merch, Dear Media is running a sale. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much, like we have sold well over four times what we expected. It's print on demand, but we like bought units up front, and we have literally done like 4x that. There was 630% growth, like that's actually insane. I'm wearing this set, this little sporty jumpsuit set from Set Active. I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry and then go to Pilates. Off to Pilates, guys. I am so excited. I don't think I've ever been so excited to work out, ever. Just got out of Pilates listening to Realtors Podcast. I got a smoothie. I think it's clean juice is what it's called. It's got the recovery with spirulina. <sighs> wow, that was such a good workout, guys. I just feel... So much more myself. I know I've literally worked out three times this week. Like, it's nothing. But I just feel so much better. This like, podcast episode was actually with Megan Rue, but I would definitely go listen to it. She talks about how to have, like, a healthy relationship with fitness and how it doesn't have to be, like, all or nothing. Like, you also can, like, get a lot from, like, low-intensity workouts versus, like, going and doing, like, a hit. Or Anyways, if you want to have, like, a healthy relationship with fitness and just know that it's not this all or nothing like toxic mentality listen to the podcast episode it's really good my least favorite part of my week okay i just got back i had a handy come over i will link below my handy code and you guys can use like and you guys can get 55 dollars towards like whatever you need done around your house whether it's cleaning something hanging up whatever speaking of i really want a gallery wall hung not on this wall but on the wall downstairs but over the stairs who do i hire for that guys Again, I mean, come on, ten percent off. I finished my laundry, I'm gonna let my hair air dry, and my skincare set in, and then go downstairs and get to work. I ordered salad for lunch. DoorDash link below. My friends got all of their breadwinning housewife stuff this week because they're so cute and supportive. Um, and I think since we're doing a girls' trip this weekend, like a small girls' trip, I think we're all wearing it tonight. So. This is my outfit since it is 80 degrees out and then of course the best part about it. Alright guys, that is it for this week of my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave. I just filmed the intro really quick. I have so much to do in the next two hours. So, hope you guys enjoy. Get excited for the weekend of my life vlog. I'm excited. Unfortunately, when you're an entrepreneur in these early days, like it's seven days a week, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't turn off. I'm, I'm hoping I can get to a place where I can have some days off and, and have more of a, of a quote unquote balance. Yes. But I don't know, for my personality, I don't know if I'll ever get there. <laughs>